And Nathan, catch. Okay. You want to do a drone, Popeye? Fly a drone? You want to chase it? Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This is Popeye, and we are the RC Sailors. First and foremost, I would like to know if you are anything like us, are you stuck inside? Cold, we are nasty stuck weather. Inside. We've been stuck inside for like three or four days now. It's awful. And uh, we're tired of it. Luckily, we got some drones we can fly, and that's what we're going to do in this video today. But let us know what part of the country you're in if you're stuck inside too. And uh, tell us how long you've been stuck inside. If you're in, in the good part of the country and it's warm, I don't even want to hear from you. So we're anyway. only stuck inside because it's raining. It's raining, yeah, it, we can't fly. We're not like the people up north with like five feet of snow. No, no, yeah, we're just got some nasty rain. So anyway, uh, this is called the DWI Mini, and you saw Abby throw it in because this is a really nice hard case. It's like soft, kind of, but it's also hard and uh, everything is in here and so everything you, even a transmitter you guys know it. that I uh, I always appreciate a good case and this comes in under 20 bucks it's like $17 it's pretty amazing very portable very like portable it. yeah and durable too so there you have it there's all the stuff inside uh, take a look at this drone it's really weird looking very weird it's like a circle look at this okay, I thought it would roll does it roll it should Ooh, it rolls. <laughs> That's kind of weird. It's got these uh, this huge hula hoop prop guard system going on. Uh, maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. I don't know. We're gonna fly it and find out for you. We also have in here the I transmitter. I can't believe how many things they fit in this little. Case. It's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, just a tiny little micro indoor quad transmitter. It's like smaller than average, though, isn't it? Like, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty tiny. <laughs> the joysticks do stick up what feels like awkwardly high, but that's going to give you more control right. over the drone, so that's good. This is my favorite thing, other than the case, about this. Why? Well, let me get oh, it out. Well, first of all, the USB the cable is really, really tiny, yeah. so it makes so it, it fits. more portable. But my favorite thing is in this bag, <laughs> and it is this, like, doll-sized screwdriver. World's smallest <laughs> screwdriver. It's crazy. <laughs> like how is a real person supposed to use them? I used another screwdriver to take the screw off the back of this. And then four spare props are also in this bag. That's good. Uh, <laughs> now this comes with a built-in battery. It doesn't look like it's super easily accessible, like four screws and you can take that out like if you wanted to replace it over long term, but in between flights, not accessible. It's a 150 milliamp LiPo. And there's also an instruction manual in this case. Mm -hmm. so. Uh, that's crazy, crazy. too. Uh, it's about a five, six minute flight time and about a 45 minute charge time. So, I know Popeye's excited. I'm excited. Let's see how this flies. Well, I'm excited too. Abby's excited too. <laughs> the lights are very nice and Ooh, bright. I, I like, like it, it a lot. And we turn the transmitter on. And cue so, the Popeye bark. Cue the Popeye bark. You never know with this stuff. This might be amazing. It might be a dud. <laughs> are kind of low. <laughs> low? So it took me a while to get it rotated around to uh, to figure out that the red is the front. I thought the blue would be the front. The red's the front on this little guy. That's okay. It looks pretty good and it's flying pretty well now that we got it going. It's supposed to do flips. I love where the flip button is located, the top right. That's where it's supposed to be. Nice flip. Do it again. Very nice flip. We'll do it one more time. We'll do a back flip on this one. Very nice flip. I'm amazed. I thought it would lose a lot of altitude because of the added weight of that cage. Let's just bump into something. That's really good. That's a really good little protector. Why do you always there. choose our fireplace? Um, I'll choose my face, I guess. Please. <laughs> and I, I got scared. <laughs> okay, now we also have rates. Probably I just knocked oh out the gosh. tissue box from there. Uh, here we go. We're at higher rates. So you can see it's definitely more agile now. And there's a third, so nice and Three zippy. Rates. Let's wow. see if the yaw is affected. Yeah, that's pretty fast. It's not the crazy fast rates, but it's fast enough to do a cyclone. Nice, I like that. Again, red is front, I gotta remember that. Toy grade drones, they usually put that in the back. Back into ray one. And uh, I love where those buttons are located. I don't even have to keep the instructions out because Top right is flips, here we go. And the top left is rates. Absolutely love that. They do have a headless mode and return to home. 
Yeah, there is one. Uh, I you can, can tell test you, those if I, you want. No, I don't want to. Yeah. You can. I can tell you what See, button it is. This is this is where Abby uh, I hate loses some flight time because the, testing these takes a bit of You know what button it is? It's the top one, isn't it? No, it's the bottom under the right stick all the uh, way on the outside. Okay. All right. Let's try it. Headless mode and return home. test it. So we press it, we get beeping and flashing, that tells us we're in headless mode. So I push away and it goes to the left. I push down, it goes to the right. It needs to be calibrated, but it's working okay. And we'll have return to home and if it's working properly it'll go to the left. So let's test that out really quick. Nope, oh, going to the right. <laughs> but at least the prop guards work and it saved it from crashing and now it's Abby's turn to fly. Guys, when it comes to these small toy grade drones, uh, return to home and headless mode rarely work. I'm not disappointed when they don't work at this price point. If this was a $200 drone and it had those features and they didn't work, I'd be disappointed. But just between us, you know, flips and rates are about the only thing that I ever care about. Sometimes headless mode is fun, but rarely. And you'll never use that return to home on a little toy grade drone like that. So. That's not a big deal. Abby, you ready to fly? Yep. So the only thing you have to tell orientation with is the lights. Well, that's like, there's good. There's no other way to tell. Well, I like multiple ways to be able to tell. All right. Light. Yeah, the, the lights are really bright, though, so they, yeah. they do help a lot. What rate do you have me in? Lowest. So, Abby. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're struggling a little bit. <laughs> it went behind me. I tried to recover, but it didn't happen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right. Hope Popeye. I can pick this one up. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Good boy. <laughs> All right. Nicely done. Hey, Popeye. Bring it here. Give it to me. Come here. Oh, He's good at fetch, but not on the drones yet. Goal is to keep it in the air. <laughs> So, no Popeye on these small micro drones, Abby does struggle more with the uh, throttle management than like a, an altitude hold drone that you fly inside. You know, she really, she, she has issues keeping these in flip. the air. You have to press and hold the flip button. No, you don't. Well, I just did. No. You just tap it and pick a direction. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Popeye always makes it so much more complicated. To yeah, fly always. I that think what's fun. to be desired with this drone is the fact that it all fits in such a little, little case. So like, well, yeah. I can keep it in the air like this. You can burn the motors up like that too. No. Yeah, you will. No. <laughs> you can do it for a while, but if you did that like full throttle the whole time, it would burn the motors up. <laughs> yeah, it all fits in just a little case. That's what's cool about this. Yeah, and I agree. It has the like prop guards by the circle hoop all around it, so it makes it easier to fly inside with not scraping up your furniture. And the prop guards, they actually work. They I was really just, I was just thinking about that. You always get after me for bumping into our metal fireplace. and stone fireplace with the plastic toy. Uh, so yeah, with uh -huh. spinning blades. <laughs> not get scratched. I just think it's funny that you could just pick the bricks, but you pick the piece that could get scratched. Oh, okay. That's what's funny. Okay. And low battery with the blinking lights. Well, I was going to say next time I'm just going to like fly up into all that stuff and crash into it. Please, please don't. <laughs> just pick the brick, not the fireplace. Is that hard, really? I'll try to remember. <laughs> yeah, my favorite thing about this believe it or not, is the case. That's what I like about you this. You never like cases. I know. So what's going on? So just <laughs> uh, and this, I mean, it all fits perfectly the case. It makes it so much easier to transport around and take it to friends' houses yeah. and to store at your own house. So that's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I think it flew really well. I couldn't ask for much yeah. more out of a tiny drone like that. And it's under 20 bucks. Why doesn't the Fury BF36 come with an awesome little case like that? That would be cool. I want more cases. <laughs> I want to just be able to buy that case. Wouldn't that be nice? If we could just buy that for the Fury BF36? I guess, but that one yeah. has Popeye slobber on it now. Yeah, it I does now. It. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> if you guys 
like our reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can keep having RC fun with us. And thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!